This is David Vinegar of First Website Design and Keyword SEO Pro. Welcome to this video on keyword suggestion tools such as Word Tracker and Keyword Difficulty. Every day I receive numerous emails with get quick rich answers. I invariably regard them as if it sounds too good to be true, well it is too good to be true. I received this one yesterday from a lady who was going to show me how to build links. When I looked at her website there wasn't a single link to it. However, about once every few days I receive an email from an expert on search engine optimization. And today I received one from Mike Mindell who is the CEO and founder of WordTrack, one of the leading keyword suggestion tools. You cannot run a tool like that and not know a great deal about SEO. The email had an invitation to view one of Mike's videos and he explains that the video will demonstrate how to find a profitable niche market for a new website. You'll learn how to find that gap in the market where searchers' needs are not being met by enough suppliers so your new product or service can fit right in and compete successfully. The concept is simple enough. Find the appropriate keywords, optimise your pages for those keywords and before you'll know it you'll be making a fortune on a cruise or sitting by the sea and watching the cruisers go by. So let's see what Mike Mindell has in store for us. In this video, I'm going to show you how to search engine optimize your web page so you can rank for the keywords you choose and attract more traffic from Google. Just so you know who's teaching you, my name is Mike Mindell and I am the CEO and founder of WordTracker.com, the popular keyword research tool. Everything I'm about to show you is white hat and straight to the point. So sit back, and let's begin. Take a look at this image. No, we haven't gone mad at WordTracker. Each of these letters in bold stands for the steps you need to take to SEO your page. The caption reads, the Mad Hatter is definitely rather loony. Something you'll remember. T is for title tag. M is for meta description and keywords tag. H is for header tags. I is for image file names and alt tags. D is for diverse keywords. R is for relevancy. And L is for reputable links. That's everything you need to know to SEO your page. So now, let's go through each of them. T is for title tag. The title tag is one of the most important factors for ranking highly in the search engines because it tells Google what your page is about. It's not a title, it's a headline. Make sure your title is compelling enough for the reader so you get click-throughs. What's the point of getting to number one if you don't get clicks? So far I am in total agreement. Mike gives a very good explanation of on-page optimization. My one concern is that he's assuming we're going to get to number one and as we'll see a little further on that's not as easy as some would like us to believe. Debbie has just sent me her first post for her new blog at North London Colonics. It's called Start Detoxing Now. It's easier than you think. A quick look at the article tells me that it could do with some search engine optimization. So Let's have a quick look at the free keywords tool to see the most popular search terms for detoxification. The thing is, the free keywords tool only allows you to search one keyword at a time. So I'm going to hop over to the full word tracker keyword tool so I can search for multiple keywords at once. Let's put in some detox variations. Detoxing, detoxify, detox and detoxification. A quick search reveals the top keywords include detox, detox diet, detoxification, detox cleanse, body detox, detoxify and detoxing. Ah, so detox is the most searched for variation followed by detoxification. 
I'll rewrite the title tag to put the primary keyword up front and take advantage of the extra traffic for the word detox, like this. I've selected detox as the primary keyword and detoxification as the secondary keyword. It is here that I begin to disagree with Mike Mindo. He has found two good keywords, detox and detoxification. And he is using them in the page title because he wants the page to rank well, to be well positioned for these two keywords. But we cannot assume that we can get top positioning for these two keywords. We have to know about keyword difficulty. In August 2009, SEO Moz collated the views of the leading 72 SEO experts from around the globe. The conclusion was that four of the top five factors that determine positioning on Google's search engine results pages relate to links from other websites. Only one on-page factor, the title tag, was in the top five. As part of my SEO research, I tried to find the top factor in the Google algorithm. It was found that the page rank of the home page of a website is regarded by Google as the authority of the whole website, including a competing web page. When it is the home page of a website that is competing for a keyword, that home page page rank receives a boost. This is explained in greater detail in video 15 of this series. You can check this out for yourself manually, but with Keyword SEO Pro, we look at the top 10 pages for each keyword, and we can input at the moment 150 keywords of a list. And Keyword SEO Pro finds the page rank of the actual page and also the page rank of the corresponding home page. When it is a home page that is competing for a keyword, the cell is in pink, and Keyword SEO Pro provides the appropriate boost, and this is shown by a green cell on the left. We can see that the average keyword difficulty using home page page rank as the measure of keyword difficulty for detox is 6.1 and for detoxification 5.4. Some have been under the illusion that page rank is irrelevant because you can have a page rank zero for a page that is near the top of the Google search engine results page. However, almost invariably, the home page page rank is high. This is a Wikipedia web page. It has a page rank of zero, but the corresponding home page page rank is eight. Now, Debbie's post is quite long, but it's 100% relevant to the subject of detoxing your body. Debbie's enthusiasm for the subject shines through and this post contains some excellent natural keyword rich copy, so I've left the length alone. She'll also probably start ranking well for hundreds of long tail keywords, combinations of her target keywords that we can't even think of. Here I must disagree again. Mike has explained the importance of the title tag and if your keywords are not in the title tag, the chance of being in top positioning for keywords that just happen to be on a page are highly unlikely. L is for reputable links. You're reputable when other people link to you from relevant, related and reputable websites. But the first thing is to look reputable yourself, which means make sure you have quality content that adds value to your readers. Quality content means a higher chance of getting decent links, which is the most important step in SEO even more important than everything we've discussed already. 
Now, link building is a big subject and there are numerous tactics that you can use, but the idea is to get an inbound link to your page. Google and other search engines will see a link from another website to your page as a vote by that website for you. If another website thinks your page is worth linking to, then Google will notice it too and then come and crawl your site. Here are a couple of quick, simple tactics you can use for any page to get your first link. First, social bookmark your page on social networks like Twitter and Dig, where your valuable content should attract some initial links from a few interested parties. That takes just a couple of minutes. A second useful tactic is to add value to someone else's related content, for example, in a forum post or a blog post. With the benefit of Keyword SEO Pro, it becomes apparent that top positioning for such keywords as detox and detoxification is highly unlikely, particularly for a new website or a new blog. These keywords need average homepage page ranks of 6.1 and 5.4 respectively. In an article published in June 2010, I looked at the relationship between page rank and backlinks. It became apparent that you will need on average 70,000 links from other websites to achieve page rank 5 and over a quarter of a million to achieve page rank 6. There is a backlinking industry, but obtaining useful backlinks is particularly difficult, and this is explained in video 17 of this series. I would therefore question that SEO is simply a matter of find the right keywords, perhaps with the tools such as Word Tracker, optimize your pages, and then enjoy a life of luxury. Certainly a major part of search engine optimization is to find not just keywords but niche keywords. Keywords with sufficient number of searches to make it worthwhile but with competition within range for your web page. You need a keyword difficulty tool and Keyword SEO Pro is the leading contender. Once you have established the niche keywords, then proceed with search engine optimization both on page and off page. Are websites and keywords likely to achieve rapid luxury? In my view, it's not that easy. This is David Vinegar of First Website Design and Keyword SEO Pro. Thank you for watching this video.